Question number nine, Miriam. Yes. What does success look like to you? Yeah, that's a really interesting one. Um, mm. Look, I think it's a combination of having achieved business, social and personal goals. Look, it's not about money for me. I'm not a consumer. I'm not attached to material things. That, you know, we're all going to die and we can't take anything with us. So I think for me it's about experience, the experiences in life, having balance in my life, so f- sufficient money to live an ideal lifestyle that I desire, mm. but it doesn't need to be, you know, swanning around in billion-dollar yachts or anything like that That for me because that's meaningless to me. Like I said, you can't take it with you when you die and my highest values aren't based around money and the superficial stuff. I think I tried to be the richest man in the grave a couple of times. I nearly ended up there doing it. Uh, what was? What is your ideal lifestyle? Oh, look, I'd like to do a bit more travel. I mean, having left home so young, my focus was get into college, get a qualification, work hard. You know, typical European background. There's no fun, just work your butt off and, and you know, create some assets around you. So I think I'd like to do a gap year. I have, I've never done a gap year. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so only my version of a grey gap year rather than, <laughs> rather than an 18-year-old gap year. Um, but no, look, I'd definitely like to travel. Who knows what's going to happen? We could have these global passports coming in that unless you take 25 vaccines and jump through 20 hoops and, you know, let the government have control of all your assets, we may not be travelling into the future. Who knows? Sounds like you live in Melbourne. <laughs> I've just had a month in Queensland. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Really. Now, Miriam, I don't know, but I started this podcast because I saw my father lose all his money and I'm leaving this, hopefully for my daughter, to look back one day and, and uh, hopefully get some words of wisdom. 